Okay, y'all, so, uh, point in the shop right here. We got, uh, a problem with the, uh, is that a problem? I think I talked about it the other day, but excuse me for repeating myself. I don't really, I can't remember. So y'all know this power rake is a good tool, okay? So, everything that I know about a power rake, real quick, okay? Now, this drum, right, and, and this is a quick attach. So, where's there? It's a quick attach. So, y'all see that, right? Anyway, these things are pretty expensive. Uh, I bought this one used and it was $8,000. So, uh, I think it's 72 wide, I think. Uh, six foot wide, I think. It might be, I can't remember. Uh, you gotta make two passes on the road. So, uh, but y'all see what it does is as you're going forward, it turns that the opposite the way you're going and it pulls up debris. So if you, it's going to be coming up like this. It's going to be spinning backwards while you're moving forward. The drum is right there. Okay, so they make these plates that you put on the side right here, right? You don't have to have them, but what they do is they corral the material in here, right? And if you take off one and leave the other one off, then everything tends to go out this end over here. You're not really able to get it as consistently especially when you're trying to fill in holes and stuff okay so and this thing does turn what 45 that way and 45 that way you just got to pick it up pull this pin out there's a pin right there pull that pin out turn it and then pop the pin back down and then you can do you can gray road sides and stuff it's pretty cool uh i haven't mastered it by no means one thing I, about this thing right here is these things right here, well, they suck the hell out of some grease, man. Uh, and if you don't keep these greased, they will screw up your grade uh, because they're heavy, man. See, this one needs grease now. So, uh, but my problem here is the plate right here. Look at that. I don't, know if, I don't know if the camera does it justice. I don't know. So then we got this. That lip, this lip right here. See that? It's supposed to be straight. And what's happened by having this having this plate right here bolted on there? Something caught on the plate and bent the plate and it broke the bolts. It was that, it was that uh yeah, so I got some new grade eight bolts, and um, but it's gonna be hard to straighten that, y'all, for me. Cause if it were a broader, like I might be able to turn, straighten that out, but I don't really. But I can buy a new one of them if I have to. And it, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know. So, but this right here is the, the this right here needs to be back straight. If you look up in there, you see that busted weld right there. That's because this got folded back. See, that needs to be banged that, that way, right? It needs to go that way. Shit. A freaking damn near a quarter inch. Uh, just to make that weld tight again, and then, then I can run another bead up through there. That's not a problem. I'm not worried about that part of it. Uh, like, I could weld it like it is right now. But I wanted to. I don't want to do that if I don't have to. But once I, if I, if I were to go on and weld that, then what would happen is it'd be harder to bend this. I'm gonna bend this first and then I'm gonna weld it back. Uh, so I don't really know the best way to do it. Uh, heat it up, okay? Maybe put a, a big wrench on it, heat it up and, you know, <clears throat> but I don't know, man. Uh, or bolt the plate back to it, heat it up, and then bang, bang it against a tree or something. That might do it. Uh, I don't really know. I, I know it needs to be straightened out. Once I get this part straight, then I can work on that part. Uh, but those things, these plates right here, don't quote me, y'all, but 
I believe these these plates right here are I want to say 170 bucks each or something like that. It was like 350 bucks for both of them, something like that. They're they're pricey, and that, this is before COVID. Well, right, yeah, I guess it was before COVID. So anyway, y'all kind of see what the dilemma is, uh, and this is not something that's hurry hurry or nothing, but I want to get it I want to get it squared away because I just put an ad out for gravel driveways, and I know I'm gonna get some. Uh, I always do when I when I. When I go, but see, I, I'm just now learning really good how to use the pile rake, and I didn't never think that these plates were important, but they are. They are. Uh, yeah. And by taking them off, you really are working hard, working hard twice as hard because you have to go back and get everything that filters over this, and then it filters over again. You know, uh, that's okay in certain situations where you're pulling it from the edge of the driveway to the center. Right, go down there and wind row it, I guess is what they call it, where you're just going at an angle all the way in the driveway, pulling the material in to the center. But you got to come back at the center at some time and get and, and and you need to be able to corral the material in this box right here. See, and without that side, you ain't got no box pieces. Okay, y'all. So, y'all see what I'm dealing with here? Uh, I'm going to try to go on and straighten it out. Uh, so I can put it up, uh, even if I don't have it. I'm going to have to do something about this right here, no matter what. And while I got it on the machine sitting here idle, then why not go on and try to get that now? Uh, so I'm going to try to bend this thing back. I don't know. I got, I got two torches, and then I got an extra tank. So I don't know which one of these two right here is gonna run out first, uh, but I'll put two on there and we'll get it heated up in pretty quick. So, yeah. See what, it's gonna take a lot to bend it, y'all. There's a bunch of things that I can do. Uh, you know, I wanna, I wanna make sure that, uh, well, when I get ready to heat it up, that means I'm ready to bend it. Oh no, man. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. That's got to be welded back. So uh, the best way to do that is to, is to pull this that way because that thing is on, if y'all can tell. That thing's supposed to be straight, but it's like this. So, um, yeah. But if I score it right here with the grinder, right? Right along in here, then it'll make it a lot easier to bend. Score it and then heat it up. I don't think that, I don't know, man, because once you heat it up, man, you gotta, you gotta do something then. And then another thing that I could do is I can heat it up, score it, heat it up, put something like this on there, and then you could actually, I mean, you could probably do that, uh, now you might, I don't know about that. I don't know, that's a rigid wrench. I don't know if you're gonna break it, but I, I guess you could. Uh, then what you could do is you could put a, you know, a long pipe on it, you know, on this. I got, you know, a helper bar, what we call it down here in the south. And then just pull this way with it, man. But it's gotta be hot to do that. So the rest of the video is gonna be probably me scoring it and uh, heating it up. And I gotta be careful when I'm heating it because, of, you know, we got, I don't want all this to get real hot. It shouldn't though, I don't think. Uh, I mean, it's okay for it to get a little warm, but I don't know, dude. There's a couple things I could do though that I've, now that I've been thinking about it, y'all. All right, y'all, so, I hadn't heated it up or nothing. I just put my, you know, my big wrench on there and this, and look, I'm moving it like that. It's actually, look, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't straighten it out right there. I, I didn't know it would do that. So now I'm gonna creep up the, up, up through here and just do it a little piece at a time. It don't have to be perfect. It just needs to be where I can get to that well right there.
It ain't perfectly straight. I'll try to find a picture and put it beside it. But uh, it's uh, it's getting there. You can see, I need to hold it in right here a little bit. So yeah. Sometimes you just gotta manhandle this shit, man. pretty close right there y'all it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be perfect like I'm never gonna be able to get this that out right there uh, I'm never gonna be able to poke that back straight right there I'm never gonna be able to press all this around there to make that hole even so But the plate bolts on on the inside. I can put a washer or something over here on this side uh, because the uh, the bolt goes in this way through here. It's about as good as I'm gonna be able to get that man without it, you know, for the tools and stuff stuff that I got. And you know, it's not. Really, it doesn't have to be perfect, and it's not. But uh, I guess the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on and weld this because I don't think I'm gonna be able to bend it in no more. So uh, I'm gonna clean that off with a wire brush and do it to it. Okay, so y'all kind of see what's up. Uh, so if I, I, I just cut me a little score right there and I'm gonna fill that in with weld. I mean, there's no way I was gonna bend that back without just wreaking havoc on everything. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. Y'all see how that is? That's supposed to be straight. So I'm gonna come on the back side here and I'm gonna score it a little bit. I might, well, I might score kinda, you know. I don't know, I'm gonna put it in the vise and see where it grabs it at. Let me just kinda see what's up. Gonna be perfect for sure. It just ain't, man. Uh, I don't have the proper equipment to press things. Just gonna have to get. What I did is I just hit that a little bit so I can fold this little lip out that way, right? So what y'all think about that? A little bit better. I need to just grab this little bitty lip right here because it needs to sit kind of flush up against the Oh, that looks pretty good. I can get this out. All I got to do is just score it right there, and I'll be able to get. I mean, that's pretty. That's worse. That's the worst one yet. So we'll straighten it out best we can. Uh, and but this is the bottom where it really has to fit tight uh, because it's got two bolts that that are right here and right here that are on the thing. And yeah, so uh, it's just two wells I got to fill in gonna be three or four now I don't know 
I don't know what people, normal people do, you know, I don't know, and I'm not a welder, you know, uh, I mean, I can weld and I got an imagination and I can cut steel and I can weld steel. So there's a lot that, that you can do if you can do that. So, uh, and, and I know there's probably a million other ways. You can put them bolts in here. You can put a damn big, a big uh, screwdriver in there and you could leverage it down too. But see, I don't like cutting all around the holes. I don't, but it doesn't really, I mean, it's not that big of a deal to toss the wires up. Because I can cut steel, drill steel, and uh, weld steel. So there's nothing real, I mean, at the end of the day, I could take a piece of this, this metal top right here that I got, see that? And I could draw, draw a line around it and cut it out like this. It probably wouldn't be perfect, but it would be, it would work. But it, it's not thick enough, see? I'd have to have three of these, you know? So. Okay, so let me get the grinder and grind on this part right here. Just so y'all know, I am using, it's a Milwaukee damn grinder, I don't know. But I got the big HD12 battery on there. And uh, yeah, so I think that's gonna be easy to bend now, let's see. It's pretty strong. It's got a special gear, back out gear too, uh, on four. Uh, it's it's real strong, man, uh, for a battery. So now that you kind of got it kind of straight, now what you one thing we can do now is I can get my big mallet. And I can hit it before I weld it all back. Then once I hit it and get that kind of straight, I think I can hit it and it's gonna bend because I haven't welded none of the creases I made. And then once I take it out, maybe I can, you know, uh, make it where I can shave a little bit of this off. I'll show y'all on the table. All right, so here we go. Uh, I can't get it no cleaner than that. Uh, I'm gonna have to yeah it's welded all the way around so if i could just get this side right here back there's really not a lot of tension on that uh it's more on the framing and all so Yep. That looks real good. A lot better than it did, so. Hey. 